Good morning, dear students. Here we are with uh, a very thought-provoking newspaper story. Not from the newspaper of today, but it was published somewhere in the past. It pertains to the district called Purukota, P U D U. Double K O double T A I. Remember one thing: when you are quoting, when you are writing the names, when you are quoting the exact data, names of the places, names of the people, at that time you have to be very particular about the spelling. And since these names happen to be from Kerala, sorry, Tamil Nadu, they. Ought to be a little bit different. Spelling has to be a bit odd. And what that oddity is, what that strangeness is, what the difference is, we have to pay attention to. <clears throat> Purukottai P U D U double K O double T A I Purukottai, a district from Tamil Nadu, a poor district. Poor in the sense, uh, district is also poor in the sense, basic amenities, other facilities, administrative offices may not have been may not have been in ample measure, and people people's lifestyle, their earning, the wealth they were amassing might have been little less. So, in the economical sense, in the social sense, in the educational sense, the district might have been poor. So, it has been referred to as a poor district. Here, you will find one strange thing that women took to bicycling, as this picture describes. A woman is using bicycle. Now, this might look as a girl to you. Girl, a grown-up girl, a woman. So, it's not a strange thing. Women going to school or college using bicycle. This isn't a very strange, very different thing. Remember. But women, married women, aged women, if they do use bicycles, nowadays, if you are asked to use bicycles, who do you? Now we are very much addicted to use of bikes. But you know there are many advantages using bicycles. Let it be, that's a different topic. But these were the days when this story was written, newspaper story, I mean. When this newspaper story was written, in those days, women using bicycles was a bit strange for the traditional people. For the traditional people, this was a very rare and indigestible scene. They could not digest it. They could not stomach this very idea that women should use bicycles. And if any woman tried to pedal this bicycle, then she was attacked. Not physically, not manhandled, not even humorously speaking woman handled, but this verbal attack. Men were hostile, they would make dirty remarks. You know, if something new, something non-traditional, something modern, something very good happens. Even if it is good, the moral things are not viewed properly. If it is new, people will start casting aspersions. People will start uh, making negative comments. But these women were very brave. They braved against all these odds and they took to bicycle, not just one or two, there were many. Many, many thousands, thousands of women. 
we will come to the figures and the digits. So where there is a wheel, this is the lesson. Where there is a wheel. Now when you look at this, you will come to know, you will, you will be reminded of one proverb. What is that? Immediately the proverb will, proverb will jump to your mind. That is, yes, where there is a will. Newspapers are in the habit of adapting. A, D, A, P, T. Adapt means what? To change. Change suitably. Adapt and adaptation. This title, this title is adaptation of the phrase. Sorry, this proverb, idiom, where there is a will. Instead of will, one H is added here. And what has it become? It has become V. Where there is a V. Adaptation of a popular saying, a popular proverb, where there is a will. Now, where there is a will, everything is possible in this world, provided you have the will to do it. Weak men have got wish. In Macbeth, this line comes, weak men have got wish and the strong have the will. Willpower, they say. Where does it come from? We don't know. We are not sure about the sure of the origin. But will, willpower, I will do it. You know, we have to normally say, I shall do it. I shall do it means it just indicates future. But if you say, I will do it, you are determined to do it. It shows determination. Will is the desire. You must have the will. I will do it. That will, willingness. Will, willingness. Where there is a will, if there is will, you can work wonders. You can do anything. And if there is the will, you can do anything. Because this entire world depends upon wheels only. What are there in the machines? Wheels. There are wheels. Modern technology has changed. But traditionally speaking, so many machineries still use wheels. Take your bike, automobile, take your car, take big machineries in the factory, wheels and wheels and watch, clock, everywhere there are wheels. Where there is a wheel, there's everything. Where there is a will, there is a way. And where there is a wheel, there is again the way. You must have the wheel, ride on it. It will take you to your desired destination. It will take you to your place. Palagum means Sainath. The name of the writer of this essay is Palagumi. T A L A G U W M I. Notice this also. This P stands for P A L A G U W M I. Palagumi. Sainath already I have written. Palagumi. Palagumi. In this in this lesson, so many names come and there is repetition of the letter. Remember this. What is repeated? That must be better than you. Palagumi Sainath, or if you are ever in doubt, whether it is Palagumi, 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 single M, double M, if you are in confusion, don't write the entire spelling, use just the initial saying P, P Sainath. He is an Indian journalist and photojournalist. He is a journalist. Journalist is a person who writes for the newspapers who takes up research in social matters, finds out the things in the society, truth, and he publishes it in the newspaper, writes the writes columns, writes news. Photojournalist in the same way, focusing on social problems. Social problems, rural affairs, the matters that are related to the rural part of the country, poverty and aftermaths of globalization of India. Globalization was there. Now you are not aware that the globalization, this process, this idea met a lot of opposition in India. It was introduced in the times of the then Prime Minister P. V. Narasimha Rao. Or he initiated that. 
and uh, people, the opposition party, not the Congress. That was that time Congress was in power, and this idea was vehemently opposed, thinking that the nativity, the native things, indigenous things, will meet with the setback, a defeat, and they will be pushed behind the scene. A fear was a fear was there in the minds of the people, and this was fanned by the opposition party. But now the very opposition party has come to the power, and they are pushing forward all the things which were initiated then. Because modernity demands changes. Changes have to be there. Whether it is introduced by one party, one government, or other government. When something modern, something new comes, we are scared. We are scared of the change. We are afraid of the change. We want to live in the daily routine, even if it is unpleasant, you know. Even if it is sorrow, it is pain. We are used to. We are used to experiencing the pain. We are used to living with the pain. We learn to live with the pain, and pain itself, the sorrow itself, becomes your friend. Known is not fear. Unknown creates fear in your mind. The change, even going from darkness into light, fills your heart with fear. If you have suffered so much in the life, and suddenly the happiness comes your way, when happiness comes your way, you are not ready to take it. You want to go back. Freedom. A slave does not like freedom. Free man does not like the legitimate bonds. Also, some people do not want to get married because they think that getting married is being enslaved. It's not true in all cases. There are some particular cases, cases where you say, "Acha kasa tha banda," and "Shadi karke phas gaya." Something, some songs are like this. There it might be true in some rare cases, but change. I mean, the man who is free would not like the bonds. The man who is in slavery would not like to be free. The man who is unhappy does not like to be happy. Change is not favored. So globalization, this modernization. these things were uh, i mean uh, these things frightened the people so after after madness effect how now when the new things come certain changes it will bring a few changes after madness the effect the one, one one effect will be good another will be bad the bad effect is called as a side effect good one is accepted willingly so after math of the globalization Now, when globalization happens, definitely certain native people will lose their jobs. When modernization, industrialization comes, when machines start working, the number of the workers are reduced. This is going to happen. Suffering is there in the lot of the human beings. And moreover, how you take it, it depends. Whether it is a suffering or awakening. Awakening. You don't want to get up from your sleep. You are just getting up. Because you saw, you had started enjoying sleep. So if you take it as awakening, it's not suffering. So new things come, and we have to adapt to the new things. God, nature, circumstance are not that much unkind as we think them to be. It they go on changing. With the changing things, we must learn to change ourselves. If you resist the change. Okay, you have to suffer. So, what was the aftermath of the globalization? He has talked about it, written about it. He is the rural affairs editor of the Hindu, a regular contributor to the Telegraph in Kolkata. He also writes for the formerly Front Line and the Daily Business Line in Chennai. This essay is taken from this essay is taken from the book Everybody Loves a Good Shot. Everybody loves a good drought. Drought means scarcity of water. From this book, this essay, this newspaper story is selected, is culled, has been chosen. You can remember this title also. Everybody loves a drought. Everybody loves a 
draw. Draw is scale set of four. This is very strange. What is this? This is the name of the book. From this book, this essay is chosen, taken, selected, culled. Yeah. Let us come to the lesson itself. In the beginning, they have mentioned learning activity. What saying does this little, this title remind you of? What saying does this title remind you of? We have discussed this title of the essay reminds us of a proverb where there is a will and this is a wheel. So this title is the adaptation. Adaptation means the suitable changes, adaptation of the popular proverb where there is a will. List some of, we are coming, coming to the lesson now. List some of the simple things that have changed the lives of people. Simple things and small things change lives of the people. What is a simple thing that has changed the lives of the people here? This bicycle. Ladies bicycle and if you add one horizontal bar to it, it becomes the gents bicycle. This bicycle is a very simple thing. This bicycle has worked as an instrument, a means of women empowerment. You know women empowerment? Empowerment. Unless there is some power, you can't enjoy freedom. Freedom should be accompanied or empowerment should precede freedom. If you have power, if you have strength, freedom will come your way. You will fight for freedom, you will fight for, fight for independence. Purukotta in Tamil Nadu, cycling as a social movement, Purukotta says, do you think is it possible to think of cycling as a social movement? Social movement, is it, is it the means of bringing, is it the means of social movement? Can it bring social change? Cycling as the means of social movement. Question mark, is it possible? Sounds far fetched, little bit impossible because cycling can be used for traveling to ease your burden of traveling. It can save your time. Besides, it can be used for the health purpose. Cycling reduces your fat and you become healthy. But social change, social movements, how cycling can be a social movement? Far-fetched, it becomes, it, it seems to be a little bit far-fetched. Why far-fetched? Far-fetched, what does it mean? Little bit impossible, very much imaginary, not practical, but not all that far. That much it is not impossible. Not the tens of thousands of new literate rural women in Purukottai district. For you, it may look far fetched, but for the For you, it may look, for you means readers here, it may look far fetched. Right? But for the tens of thousands, tens of thousands women of Kurukutta district. Who are these Nivo literate? Nivo literate. N E O Nivo literate. I write here. Okay, it's not right. Nivo literate. Literate means what? One who 
can write letters A, B, C, D. Letters means alphabet. 26 alphabet we have got. A set of 26. One who can use these letters is called as literate. One who can read and write is called as literate. New literate, new means new. One who did not know, who was illiterate. And recently he or she has learned to read and write. Such people are called as new literate. So tens of thousands, 10,000, 20,000, 30,000, 50,000 like this. These women who have recently learned to read and write, for them, cycling is a social movement. This is not far fetched. This is not something imaginary, but this is a very fact, the very reality. Rural women in Kurukotta district. Now, this is a generalized statement. People find ways, sometimes curious ones. People find ways of what? Of hitting at their backwardness, of expressing defiance, of hammering at the fetters that hold them. Let us enlist them one by one and see. People find sometimes very curious ways, strange, different. What are these curious ways? Curious ways of one. People find ways, sometimes curious ones, of hitting out at their backwardness. That is fighting off, fighting against the backwardness, hitting out, marma, beating, beating the backwardness, means beating it backward, beating the backwardness backward, pushing it, pushing it back. So this is the way, this is the means, it is very curious, hitting out at the backwardness, expressing defiance. Expressing defiance. What is defiance? Defiance is the, not exactly, the, but somewhat, antonym of obedience, following, uh, conforming, not confirm, C O N F O R M, conform, conforming, following, obeying. That is not listening, not following, is defiance. Expressing defiance. Virodhvi, you can say, opposition, resistance, and third one, hammering at the fetters, that how would them People find sometimes ways which are very curious, strange, odd ways are they? The instrument to get forward, backwardness they would like to hit back. Defiance, we don't listen to you, don't care for you, we care a fig, we don't care at all. Then hammering at the fetters, fetters means chains, hatkari. Hammering at the fetters that hold you. Hold means pakadna. Grasp, hold you. Hold you from going. What do the hammer, what do the fetters do? Chains do? Your feet and hands are chained. You cannot move. They hold you from going somewhere. In fact, they find a means of making progress. But this means this instrument, this way, is very curious. What is that? In this, one of India's poorest district, 
This district, Kudu Kottai, is the poorest district, India's poorest districts. Cycling seems to be the chosen medium for rural women. For the rural women, the women of this rural part, cycling seems to be a means used for fighting of backwardness, defiance, and the fetters that hold them. Social change. What is the social change in today? Becoming free. Fetters. Breaking the chains. Breaking the fetters. That is getting freedom. Defiance. Opposition. By opposing tradition. By opposing depressing tradition. Oppressing tradition. Suppressing tradition. The tradition that suppresses. Tradition of suppression. Suppress. Yes, you double P. Army doubles are pressing down. Backwardness. So fighting of all these things is necessary. So for a social change, for the social movement, what means was used? It was the wheel. Wheels of the bicycle. Wheels of the bicycle were used to get ahead in the life. So rural women of Purupottai district found it, found bicycling as the means of getting ahead in life. During the past 18 months, you have to remember this data. During the past 18 months, during the past how many months? 18 months. 1 million. During the past 18 months, how much is this? Okay. If you write it in our way, in book it is given like this. So these five zeros they indicate that it is one lakh. Tens of thousands, he said. These all figures are nearly estimates. The actual figure might have been a little bit bigger. One lakh rural women, most of them neo literates. All these women with neo literates have taken to bicycling as a symbol of independence, freedom, and mobility. What does this bicycle stand for? Bicycling is a symbol of freedom. Independence. Freedom, independence and mobility. Now ponder for a while, what does freedom mean and what does independence mean? There was a freedom struggle and we got independence on 15th of August 1947. Many times we use these two words as a synonyms. Freedom, lack of restrictions. Freedom means lack of restrictions. And what is independence means? In one sense, both are synonyms. But if you go deeper, down, the second layer, third layer, they are not really synonyms. Independence means you are not depending upon anyone. Now you may not depend upon anyone. What does it mean? You are free. You are free. What does it mean? You do not depend upon anybody. In this sense, they are synonyms. But you may not depend upon anyone, yet you may not be free. You may be free, but in your freedom also you have to depend upon so many things, so many people. So outwardly, apparently looking synonyms, some great fellow has expressed this thought, view, 
that there are no synonyms in the language. One word cannot take place of another word. Whatever, we shall not go in deeper into that. I am just giving you the idea. Freedom, independence and mobility. Mobility is the ability to move. Ability to move is called as mobility. Of course, when you use bicycles, you are free to move. When you use bicycles, this have been earlier what they used to do, they used to depend upon the male members of their family. Come on, escort me up to some place, accompany me, drop me there. Because the distance was a little bit more, it was not walkable, it was not a walkable distance. So they had to depend upon their husbands or they had to depend upon the state transport or city transport, city buses. But now, they did not depend upon anybody. They became independent. They became free. They became mobile. So for the new literate women, one lakh rural women, bicycling is a symbol of independence, freedom and mobility. If we exclude girls below 10 years of age, it would mean that over one-fourth of the rural women here have learned bicycling. Take all the women, female gender of Pudukotta uh, district and you have, to minor, you have to subtract from it that number of the women, girls, who are under 10. Remaining if you count. So how many women have learned? One-fourth of the rural women have learned bicycling. One-fourth of the women. 25% of the women from this district. You must remember this data also. 25% of the women of this area, barring the girls coming under 10, have learned bicycling. And over 70,000 of these women have taken part in public exhibition come contests to proudly display their new skills and still the training camps and desire to learn continue. And these women used to take part in the exhibitions. Come, contests. Contest means uh, what we call spardha. Competitions. Actually, contest means fight. Cycle competition. Exhibition, cycle competitions. They used to take part. And uh, training camps still continue to be there. Let us go into the details of it. In the heart of rural Purukottai, what does this heart mean? Heart means the central part. In the heart of rural Purukottai, young women zip along the roads on their bicycles. The women, if you go into Purukottai district, in the middle of, in the center, at the center of this district, central places, central villages or tarukas, you will find women moving around on bicycles. Who are they? Jamila Bibi. Who has taken to cycling told me you can find one woman and she says she has learned bicycling and she is very much fond of bicycling and she says that it's my right we can go anywhere bicycling is my right she says R-I-G-H-T Hakko as Balangadhar Tilak said Swaraj is my birthright this Jamila B says Jamila Bibi says it's my right we can go anywhere. Now I don't have to wait for a bus. Earlier I had to wait for the bus. I'm free now. I can go anywhere. I know people make dirty demands. I'm aware of this said also. People don't like me riding a bicycle. They make dirty remarks when I started bicycling. But I paid more attention. If you want to go ahead, you should not pay attention to the dirty comments, adverse comments that the people make. People are bound to make such comments. So, uh, what should you do at that time? You must keep that proverb, Hindi proverb in mind. Hathi chalta hai aur kutte bhongte rehte hai. Bhongne wale kutte hai. Kutte bhongte rehte hai, aisa nahi kehna chahiye. Bhongna means meaningless talk. The dogs bark at thieves. Bark at extraterrestrial or whatever, ghosts and all those things. We are told about that. But many dogs are there who bark at anybody. You enter into a new colony, the dogs will start barking. One dog barks, another will again start barking. If they find something strange, something new, they will start. 
working. So when hati chalta hai, big things happen and the small ones start working. Working is meaningless comments. You need not pay attention to that and go ahead. That's what Jamila Bibi said that I which is my birthright. I need not depend upon city bus now or bus and uh, I can go anywhere. I put up with the dirty demands that the people made. Second one is Fatima. If you remember these names, you can use in the examination. One is Jamila Bibi. Shall I clean this first? Jamila Bibi, this name. Jamila Bibi. Don't understand that Bibi means wife. Bibi or Bibi means wife. Many times to our wives we call madam. Whether she is a madam or not. Even a woman who is totally uneducated, like her. some women who became even chief ministers. They become managers of their own firm. They are called as madams. So BB is a very respectable term used to describe women of high power, high place. BB, Chand BB, like that. So Jamila BB. Then we come to Fatima. This year for the capital. Fatima Jamila is a secondary school teacher. Now this is a school teacher. Fatima is a secondary school teacher. Secondary school teacher. Fatima is a secondary school teacher. I think I should not use reading. So addicted to cycling that she hires a bicycle for half an hour every evening. This woman Fatima, she buy a she cannot buy the bicycle. So she hires the bicycle half an hour every evening. Because she is addicted to bicycling. And bicycle is costly for us. The price of the cost of the bicycle is 1200 Now it is not uh, 1200 nowadays. 1200 it was. Rupees 1200 Remember this also. And she did not have that much money to buy a bicycle. She said, what are her views? There is freedom in cycling. So what does Jamila Bibi say? She says that we can go anywhere. Compare these two statements. We can go anywhere. There is freedom in bicycling. We are not dependent on anyone now. Independence. I can never give up. I will never give up bicycling. Whereas Jamila Bibi says, it's my birthright. Jamila, Fatima. And their friend Avakan Avakani. See third one. Ava Avakani. Their friend Avakani. Double N. Avakani. All in their early twenties. These all women. What is their what does it mean? 21, 22. 23, 24, doubtful 25, but 24, 23, 22, 21, all in their early 20s. Late 20s, this is late. 26, 27, 28, 29. These are all 20s. So this is early 20, earliest 20. All these early 20s. have trained scores of other young women from their community in the art of cycling. These women have not only learned themselves how to ride on the bicycle, but they have uh, trained many others also. Cycling has kept across this district women, agricultural work, women agricultural workers, ferry laborers, village health nurses are among its fans. Joining the rush are Balwadi and Nanwadi workers, gym cutters and school teachers, and gram sevikas, midday meal workers are not far behind. The vast majority are those who have just become literate. The district's vigorous literacy drive, led by Arivoli Yakkam, which means light of knowledge movement, has been quick to tap this energy. Every one of the new literate, new cyclist women, 
I spoke to saw a direct link between cycling and her personal independence. So the writer says that many women of this art have learned bicycling. Who are they? Women agricultural workers. Khet mein kaam karne wali aurate. Kuli ke usse hal 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 dhora ke usse maro hamakro. Quarry laborers. Quarry is gunny. Quarry laborers where the stone is cut and brought up. Quarry laborers. Village health nurses. And the Balwadi, Unganwadi workers, gem cutters, Ratnagaru, Hire, Hire Tarashne Wale, school teachers, Kram Sivika, Nidhi Meen workers, all of them have uh, learned to use bicycles. So when this writer talks to these women, he finds that there is a great connection between cycling and their personal freedom. And one name here you cannot and should not forget, that is Ari Oli Yakkam. Ari Oli Yakkam. What does this mean? It means light of knowledge movement. The meaning of this is light of knowledge movement. Now, can you relate this word, Tamil word, to Kannada? Ari Oli. Little bit connection you can find. What is that? Ari Oli. Ari Hu. Ari Hu. Knowledge. Exactly. It may not be knowledge, but Ari Hu is knowledge of something. I must have some Ari Hu. And Ari Hu Rebeku. Ari Oli Yakka. Movement of knowledge. If you can remember it like this again. This movement, what it did. This tried to make the people literate. So the new literate women, most of them tried to become part of this cycling movement. The main thing said Yan Kannamma. Now one more name you remember here. Yan Kannamma. Yan Kannamma. K-A-N-N-A-N-N-A-L. Double N and double M. Perhaps you may not be able to read this. If you zoom, you can read K A double M A double M A L. Wherever the repetition of letters is there, you have the number. And the number. Who is she? She is the Arivoli Central Coordinator. Who is she? Arivoli. This moment, Arivoli Central Coordinator. One who looks after this movement. And one of the pioneers of the cycling movement, one who starts the things for the first time is called pioneer. Pioneering, pioneers of the cycling movement, what does she say? The main thing was the confidence it gave women. Very importantly, it reduced their dependence on men. In what ways did this, did this bicycle help the women? First, it instilled confidence in women. To do anything, you must have this vishwasa, atma vishwasa. Confidence. This came through bicycling. Now, if we see a woman doing a four kilometer stretch on a cycle to collect water, sometimes with her children, this gave the confidence. What kind of confidence it gave to women that they, they, they need not depend upon men? You can see women now. Going on this bicycle for four kilometers, collecting water, and sometimes not not just water on the bicycle, the child also. Even carting provisions, kirana mal, kirane cycle mere tohon bolo pura nimge kaan bohdo. Who bring this? The women. The women bring provisions, kirane, water, and along with the child. That the women are seen carrying all these things on the bicycle and they go over the stretch of four kilometers. Women had to put up with her, but believe me, women had to put up with, put up with means to tolerate, put up with vicious attacks on their character when this began. So many made filthy remarks, but Ariwali gave cycling social sanction, so women took it. We can see, we the positive thing about this bicycling is that it instilled confidence. 
it instilled confidence in their bosom. They need not depend upon the males. And what were they doing? They were going for four kilometers. The women started going for four kilometers on the bicycle, carrying water, carrying provisions, carrying their child also on the bicycle. So in this way, it gave them freedom and independence and accorded them mobility. They became mobile. But the other side was that they had to put up with, they had to tolerate, bear. What did they have to tolerate? They had to tolerate the filthy remarks. Filthy means dirty. Male people, a poor district, socially backward, economically backward. Their women generally did not receive. A society can be forward. The forwardness of a society is, or it can be measured by looking at the respect we give each other. I don't say uh, where women are given respect. The opposite may mean that men are not given respect. Opposite might mean like this. A woman has to give respect to the male. Male has to give respect to the female. The grown-up have to understand the children. Children have to give respect to the elders. The forward people, backward people, all of them must learn to care for each other. That shows how much forward you are. So in this area, women had to put up with filthy remarks. But Arivoli Yakam was there to give support. It gave support to the cycling movement. And women found one of the best supporters in this. And they took to bicycling. Only among them, Kannamal herself, only among them, Kannamal herself, though a science graduate, she had never mustered the courage to cycle earlier. This young Kannamal was the woman who took to bicycling a little bit early, earliest of all, let us say. But she also did not gather courage, enough courage. Muster courage. Muster means gather. Why? She was a science graduate, even though she was a science graduate. Educated woman herself. She could not gather enough courage to use bicycle. What can be the reason? Society, the adverse, dirty, filthy comments. Visiting an Arivoli cycling camp is an unusual experience. Now P. Saina takes us to the cycling camp. Cycling training camp. Arivoli conducted cycling training camp. So a camp where women have, uh, women who have learned already bicycling. The women who have already learned bicycling and they can come back to teach others how to use bicycles. They are called as master trainers. So such camps are held. If you visit such a camp, uh, you will feel something unusual. Where does this happen? In Kila Kuruchi village. Kila Kuruchi, K I L A Kila Kuruchi, K U R U C H I. Kila Kuruchi, R U C H I. Kila Kuruchi, Kila Kuruchi village. All the prospects. On Sunday, this training camp, cycling training camp was arranged and uh, all the women had come, prospective learners, those who had not still learned to uh, pedal the cycle, they had come in their best of the best clothes of Sunday and you will, you, you will, you will never miss the enthusiasm and the passion they had. They had to know cycling offered a way out of enforced routines around male imposed barriers. Males have been imposing barriers on women. And so cycling provided them a way out of all this. The newer cyclists even sing songs produced by Arivoli to encourage, to encourage bicycling. One of these has lines like, oh sister, come learn cycling. Move with the wheel of time. If you visit a cycling camp, cycling training camp, you will not miss that enthusiasm in the people. Prospective learners come. 
those who are not yet learned, they come to learn bicycling. They are wearing good clothes. They are, they are very passionate, enthusiastic about bicycling. And uh, they are very happy. And most of them sing the songs also. And what is 